City leaders in Bradenton must soon decide if their red light cameras are making intersections safer or just taking money from drivers who are running red lights. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us live from Bradenton with more on what the numbers show on the subject. Adam? Scott, thank you. I'm at the corner of 7th Avenue East and 9th Street near downtown Bradenton. It's one of seven intersections here in Bradenton equipped with a red light camera. Now, the Bradenton police ran the numbers recently and found that accidents at these intersections has actually increased recently, but the accidents caused by running red lights has stayed relatively the same. Miguel Malcolm has been caught by traffic cameras a few times near his last home in Brooklyn, New York. I had like three tickets for it, so. But in the slower pace Bradenton, Malcolm thinks the cameras do provide a public service. I think they help safety in the area, right? Like I feel as long as it's not uh, something that's targeted to, you know, make money off of the consumers in the area. Since cameras were installed over six years ago, citations at these intersections has more than tripled, while red light running has decreased 7%, according to the Bradenton Police Department. But City Councilman Bemis Smith isn't sure that's an improvement. We are not out there to run check marks and boxes to see how many citations we can write or how many uh, people we can catch doing bad things if catching them doesn't make us any safer. Not safer in the sense that the average crashes due to red light running is almost the same as before the cameras were installed. Total crashes even increasing last year. Councilman Patrick Roth feels this is partly due to the fact that the vendor, Xerox, chose which intersections would get cameras. Where they did put some of the, uh, some of the cameras, I don't agree with the need for a camera to be there. Uh, it appears as though they were there for revenue generating. But there may be a risk to removing these devices. An Insurance Institute of Highway Safety study found red light running crashes increased in cities that recently removed the cameras. But Roth says his decision will be more about what the voters want. I have seen statistics go whichever way the statistician wants them to go. So, I mean, I, I can't, I do not see where we have put red light cameras to reduce accidents. Now, the Bradenton police report concludes that the majority of accidents are caused by aggressive driving behaviors, and these red light cameras really address just one of the symptoms of those behaviors. It'll be up to city council leaders. They're scheduled to meet and vote on renewing that contract around August 15th. That's when the current contract is set to expire. Live in Bradenton, Adam Cellini. Scott, back to you.